In this section, we're going to be learning how to look at uh, basically pictures, different types of graphs, and kind of get some meaning out of those. So the very first type that we're going to look at are pictographs. And pictographs are the ones that you see mainly like in the newspaper, um, usually like in USA Today and stuff like that. Those are, uh, um, they're in there almost every single day where you have uh, some sort of a graph or a, you know, a, a visual visual representation and it always has these little icons whatever you know they're talking about could be money bags or whatever um, but they always have little icons and they have several of them um, listed out and they represent a certain amount of something so for instance in this case uh, what we see here it says Elvis is still king five of the most popular US postage stamps of all time so it looks like we have Elvis stamps, um, superhero stamps, Legends of Baseball, Art of Disney Romance, Rock and Roll and Rhythm and Blues stamps. And each one of these icons, they have to represent a certain amount of something. So we always have what's down here. This is called a legend. Oops, if I could spell correctly, that would be a big plus, wouldn't it? This is called the legend, and it's what tells you how much each one of those icons represents. So, for instance, in this case, it says that each one of our icons is 20 million stamps. So, if we were to look at the Elvis ones, then this would be 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 million stamps. So, that's what this represents. Now, the only bad part about pictographs are if you've got part of. So like for instance here, each one of these icons, remember, is worth 20 million. But then whenever we have half of an icon here, then that would represent half that amount. So this would be 20, 40, 60, and then another half of 20, which would be 10. So this would be 70 million stamps. Now the problem here is, really and truly whenever you're doing part of a stamp you would almost have to do half of the stamp or the whole stamp because if we were going to look at you know a third of a stamp or a fourth of a stamp it would be very very difficult for us to try and figure out exactly what part of a stamp that was just by looking at the picture so that's one of the limitations of looking at pictographs um, it, especially if you have nice whole icons then it's much much easier to look at with a pictograph all right, let's answer some questions here and see how this pictograph is uh, used. Okay, so I'm going to go down here to our question. This says, which of the U.S. stamps had the second greatest number of sales? All right, so let me go back up here where you can see our, our pictograph again. They want to know the second greatest number of sales. Well, it looks like here that the Elvis stamps, there's more of them than anything else. So this would be our most number of stamps. Now, the second most looks like it would be the rock and roll rhythm and blues because look, there are four of those icons. For the Disney one, there are three icons. Here we have two and a half and here we have three and a half icons so it looks like our rock and roll rock and roll and rhythm and blues would be the second most number of sales okay, now what's our last question here ask us approximately how many more rock and roll rhythm and blues stamps were sold than the art of Disney romance stamps Okay, so back up here looking at our picture. We want to look at these two different types. And if you'll notice, here we have four icons that are each worth 20 million. And here we have three icons that are each worth 20 million. So it looks like we have 20 million more of these stamps than we do of the Disney stamps. So we would have 20 million more.